Hi, my name is Mark Seitz. This is the second part of a series of videos showing recent enhancements to the report printing features in Oracle Application Express 4.2.2. During the first part, we've covered different configuration options and looked at how to export a simple report in PDF format using the Apex Listener as a print server. The second part will show you how you can create your own custom report layouts and use these layouts with any of your classic reports or report queries. All printing options in Apex share essentially the same underlying architecture. Your report data gets rendered in XML format. This XML data is then sent to a print rendering engine along with an XSLFO or RTF stylesheet. And based on the stylesheet, your data gets formatted, rendered in PDF, and then downloaded to your browser. As a publisher, you can use Microsoft Word for report layout creation and RTF files to show your report layout definition. With the Apache FOP option and the new Apex Listener based option, you can use XSLFO style sheets. You can choose to either use a built in generic XSLFO layout, which exposes some limited customization options, or you can create a fully custom layout using third party tools such as Altova Style Vision or Stylo Studio. This demo will show the steps required to create your own custom report layouts using these tools. We'll do one example using Style Vision and another example for comparison using Style Studio. For both examples, the first step is to get your report data in XML format so we can use this as a data source for our layout tools. Using a report on the M table, which we created in the first video, we now want to create an XML export of our report. To generate your report in XML format, edit your report page, then right click on your report region and click on Edit Print Attributes. On the Print Attributes page, change the output format to XML, and then click Apply Changes and run your page. Scroll down to the print link on print and download your report in XML format. Your XML report contains general information about your application like username, application ID and name, information specific to your page and region like page ID, page title and region name, and then further down you'll find your report data. Now we're going to open up Altova Style Vision to create our own custom layout. In Style Vision, click on New from XML Schema, DTD, or XML Data. Locate your XML file and click to open. Select Generate New XML Schema and then click OK. Save your schema file on disk. And choose to create a free flow document and click OK. You will get an empty layout canvas and you will find a tree view of your XML document on the left hand side. FOP currently only supports XSLT 1.0, so it is important to set the XSLT version for your layout document at the top of your screen. You can now simply drag and drop elements from your XML file into your layout. We're going to include the current username and also create a table based on your report data. We can now use common standard formatting options to style our report. Additional formatting options are available through the style sidebar. Using the HTML tab at the bottom of your screen, you can get an HTML preview of your report layout. You can also add headers and footers to your document.
And then lastly, it is also possible to include graphics in your report layout. Click on the Insert Image icon. Place the cursor where you want to include your graphic. And then specify the URL to your graphic resource. Uh, let's click on Preview again. All right. Uh, once we are satisfied with our report layout, we can save our report layout as a generated XSLT FO file. And then we can go back to Apex to use uh, this report layout. Back in Apex, we are now going to upload the XSLFO report layout and associate the layout with our employee report. First, go back to the application builder, select the application, and click on Shared Components. Scroll down to Reports and select Report Layouts. Click on Create to create a new report layout. Now choose the report layout type. We want to go with the named column XSLFO layout. That's because our report layout is specifically designed for the employee table, and this option allows the upload of XSLT files. Next, specify a name for your report layout. And choose the XSLT file generated with Style Vision. Click on Create Layout. Then go back to the Application Builder homepage. Edit your report page. Right click on your report region and edit your print attributes. Now scroll down to the Report Layout Select list and select your new report layout and apply changes and run your page. Scroll down to the print link and click to open the PDF document. You will now get a PDF report with your own custom layout, including a page header, a page number, the username dynamically included, your graphic, and your actual report data. This example has shown you how you can create a fully custom report layout very easily using drag and drop and common formatting options. We used Altova Style Vision for the report design and to generate an XSLT 1.0 compliance style sheet. Of course, there are other tools out there that offer similar functionality. So just for comparison, let's take a look at another option, Stylus Studio. Stylus Studio actually works much like Style Vision. We're going to start with a new report layout by selecting New XML Report from the File menu. We're going to select XSLFO as our output format. Click OK. And then we're going to add uh, our XML data or export file to this report layout. And this opens up an XML tree of our report data. You can now simply drag and drop components into our canvas, like the report title, as well as the report data. When inserting a table, we want to populate columns. And then we also want to add a report header row. So we're going to add a row before the actual report data. And we're going to type in our report headings. When we're done with the header, we can go ahead and start applying some styles using common formatting options like fonts, font settings, colors, and alignment. So let's make our title a little bit bigger. Let's apply some colors, color to our report column headings. Okay, this should do it. Now let's take a look at a preview. Click on the report menu, click the preview button, and down here we can see the preview. 
All right, now we're going to save this report layout as an XSLT file. Click again on the report menu, click on generate, choose XSLT 1.0, and then save it to disk. All right, and again back to Apex. Just like before, we're going to upload the report layout and our shell components. specify another report layout name and upload the file. Now back to our page. Edit the print attributes and select the new report layout. Click apply changes click run and export the PDF again. Now you've seen how you can create custom report layouts using two different layout tools that allow for drag and drop report layout. Of course you can get a lot more sophisticated than it was possible in these short demos. But I hope that these examples will help you to easily create customized PDF reports in Oracle Application Express.